of all, I hear you guys just met. We did. Yeah. Give me first reactions. Oh, well, this is well. A the chemistry <laughs> is kind of crazy. We're yeah. we're really doing it. We need a TV Everybody's, show. Everybody's yeah. We're gonna get we're gonna get a, a TV show now. Listen, Netflix. Watch. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> She's a legend, and so I I truly she walked in the room and I was like. <laughs> 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 you know. Hi. Yeah, like hello. The only reason I'm letting her say these things is because I know she's going to become a legend. Um, she already is. She can't. She can't take the crown can't. yet because she's five years old. It's true. But too, I'm too when much. When you're of a, baby. a Disney princess, honey. When it's I finally forever. learn to walk instead of crawl, <laughs> maybe then. <laughs> no, you're just you're, you're wonderful. Oh, thank you. My gosh. First of all, to get those kind of flowers, but also Don't for it to be well deserved. Oh, yes. Do you guys think you're? So and just know she wouldn't get them. If she oh. didn't deserve it. Well, no. Believe I that. I ain't got time to be, you know, like, oh, she's so good. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> Humble me. Absolutely. Humble me. Keep no, me grounded. No. Amazing. <laughs> no, it's true. I need her with me always. <laughs> you guys, I mean, both of you guys just have an animated personality and mm -hmm. just a unique personality as well. Do you guys think it comes from your musical theater background as well? Pretty you do much. Share that. Yeah, probably. Pretty much. You know, my idols were Judy Garland. Of course. And, and, and Pearl Bailey. And, mm. and, you know, it was, and then Streisand came along. And, and I mean, just uh, the early TV shows mm. that came on and just fed into the gift. It, it, the, the gift came with birth. Mm. The it factor. Right. And you're born with that. You came here to do that. So when you say, does that feed the performance? Yes, it is the performance. Mm -hmm. um, people, I went shopping with a friend once, and he says, you know, Jennifer, you don't have to perform everywhere we go. Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know what I said to him? Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> I say, but I understand you, what you're saying. And if you don't think you could take that. There's the door. <laughs> I'll see you later, potato. Yeah. I'm very nice to him. Of I course. understood. I mean, but when I walk and we were shopping, when I walk in a, a store, I'm like, hey, these people don't get joy from people walking in and shopping. My second book title is Walking in My Joy. And that's just what I do. Mm. But it's real. And I tell people, say good morning and mean it. Mean it. Mm. I listen. I could listen to you talk all day because ah. you're just dropping gems. Mm. Uh, first of all, Rachel, you're also you're in your princess era. You're in princess era. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you. And I want to know. I mean, are you living your childhood dreams? Mm. I am. Yeah. I am. I pinch myself all the time. I mean, mm. when my mom found that photo of me, there's a photo of me when I'm like three years old mm -hmm. in a little Snow White costume. Uh -huh. and, uh, <laughs> and when she found that to me and sent it to me, it was just like, I cannot believe that this is my life and that that mm. costume is like my job. And then that becomes a thing that little girls and young people will see and believe that they can. Yes. It doesn't matter what you look like or where you come from, like that is possible for you. It's such a huge honor and 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 to be bringing it to the animated screen with Spellbound mm. is, is just the, it's a dream come true. It's really mm. amazing. So I love sweet. that. Now, this is your first animated film. Yes. Jennifer, you're a veteran She's in a this legend. game. I'm doing 13 right <laughs> now in 13 different voices from oh. Rugrats to this one to that one to you know, cars is still going on with the video games and and Princess and the Frog. They're they're bringing a series. Uh, yes, the Tiana yes, series. Yes, 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 yes. And you know, Mama Odie's up there. They said, "Oh, well, she's just a guest star." I said, "Oh no, she's not. <laughs> Mama Odie will be in every episode. Yes, What's Tiana will. gonna do without her?" Amen. But then at some point she has to grow. But still, that grandma figure has to always be there. Mm. Uh, so it's what very exciting. What do you think of Rachel's performance for the first time? I can't. I have no, you know, she's young. I don't watch TV. I don't know who she was. I had heard about West Side Story, though. Yeah. Uh, Mark Shaman told yes. me how oh, amazing. You know, he's Mark my best so friend. I didn't he know that. He told but me I love how him amazing so you were. So when I heard you were uh, doing Spellbound, I was very excited about it because if Mark Shaman gives you a compliment, you're good. So, <laughs> um, but now that I've seen the film and, and seen what you did and heard what you did with this character, very impressed, darling. Very impressed and very happy to say that I've worked with you. Oh, 
I said, I, I can be able to say, I know that little girl. <laughs> oh, I've heard of her. Yeah, well, you, your generation. I mean, once again, Judy Garland. And I, told, my hero I told Jennifer uh, Lopez, I said, oh, sweetie, I don't know who you are. I said, listen, listen, listen to what I said. And she like, we're at lunch, the polo lunch. Yeah, I said, yeah, oh, baby, what have you done, sweetie? And then, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, this is good. I said, what have you done, sweetie? But who was it I had not? I looked at her, I said, oh, honey, I stopped at Aretha. <laughs> and she just, that's why she loves that me. That is so that's good. That's why she loves me. I have no idea. I could no, care less. Keep us grounded. Yeah, I could care, care less. Um, <laughs> the, Who listen. are you, darling? <laughs> what have you done? Yes, yeah, what, what have, have you done? done? I would never take offense to that. No. <laughs> because I would be like, just like, no, you're right. What have I done? Yeah. yeah, oh my gosh. The music in this. <gasps> yes. Phenomenal. Oh, Lincoln. Oh, Lincoln. Lincoln. Tell me about that and the musical numbers. I don't know where you're going to start. Oh, well, I mean, it's you have the greatest of all time mm -hmm. with Alan Menken and, and Glenn Slater, and and having them work together. You know, they made Tangled, and Tangled is such a beautiful, beautiful film. But mm -hmm. Alan composed and created the Disney Renaissance period. You know, like the, all of those movies came from his brain and the late Howard Ashman, and so. Getting to work with Alan, having been raised on his music, is the greatest honor that uh, that I think a singer mm -hmm. could have, but also a, a, a young Disney fan. And so that was really just the the pinnacle of of a career for me. It's just such an amazing opportunity. But you started five years ago. Right? I did. I did. During I started. The yeah, I started during the pandemic doing scratch vocals for him. So the part wasn't mine. I was just kind of helping out and um, Michael Cosrin who works very closely with Alan and does the um, the arrangements musically we just would get on the phone every so often and then I would hop in the booth which was like a makeshift booth I made in my attic because it was the pandemic mm -hmm. and um, and yeah and and the song what about me was like mostly recorded in my attic and it made it into the film mm -hmm. so it's a pretty crazy process that we were on you and know, a journey I just we were realized on. Mm. I started in 2022. See? Because I, real, I, I had the mask. When you just said the pandemic, yeah. it just came to me. Yeah. I sang the song in 2020. Yeah. I recorded this That's movie crazy. all around the world. It was like my house in New oh. Jersey, places in New York. I was shooting Shazam in Atlanta. I did stuff in Atlanta. Mm. When I was doing Snow White, I was going in on my weekends and doing oh, stuff in London. My God. Did stuff in Berlin, did stuff in Dusseldorf and Poland. And Oh, I mean, that's so was, exciting. It's wild. This Isn't it was wonderful when you're out of town and they said, well, can we find a studio for Miss Lou? I said, yeah. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Cause I'm not, if I'm in San Diego at a spa, I'm not, not driving really, yeah, back no, after no, a massage no. to Los Angeles to record. Surely you can find a studio Absolutely in San Diego. Can. Yes. Expeditiously. Yeah, lastly, fantastic. I just want to get your guys' um, just feedback on uh, Javier Bardem singing for the first oh. time. It was beautiful. <laughs> He's so beautiful. It's everything. I mean, we are working with icons. I mean, yeah. She's been using the word all day. Titans. Titans. Yeah. I mean, Nathan Lane, Jonathan Nicole, mm. Javier. Titus and Titus. oh my gosh! I mean, it's just the it's biggest. It's everything. Yeah, it's it's everything. But we love seeing somebody get ushered into a new <laughs> niche. Javier Bardem sings now. Where's there you the go. musical movie? There you Let's go. go. I'm coming out at the end of the I year. I <laughs> want it. I want. What can I? What move, musical movie can we do with Javier? I don't know. Something called you gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> my song would be "You're Gorgeous." I you know it. who I said that to? Hmm. John F. Kennedy Jr. When I met him, I wanted to say something so intelligent. I just wanted to go, but I was still young and you know so you crazy. Said, so you and I went. On your I went. Gorgeous? I said. I was. I said. You know, it's so beautiful. You know and what? you know what he said back? Hmm. You know. And anyway, no, he didn't. He said. That would. He no stop. He said, "You are so beautiful." Oh. I'll never forget it. That's oh amazing. my God! They're just certain people, you know. Hello, gorgeous. Oh my God! But <laughs> spellbound. <laughs> It's everything. Yes. For the kids, for the adults, it's a journey through real humanity. Because mm. it's dealing with issues. Mm. The baby's clawing at the, vo the void in the darkness. She has to go through that and the light. Mm. And there's no snatching out the weed to learn something. She has to go to the root of the pain. Mm. And it's, I love that about the movie. And that's true.